day late again it's like what 3 30 what are we doing 1 37 no it's 3 30 where are we going <laughs> we're going to my mom's and we're gonna spend a lot of time there and then I've got my creative knitters meet up and then we'll come home <laughs> oh, are you excited about play-doh <laughs> and she made you guys jello <gasps> We're here, and it smells like garlic, and it's glorious. <laughs> and then my mother's smothering my kids with kisses, as she should. And now they're all losing their minds. Great. <laughs> Look what I have. Yay! Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> la, 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 la. Okay, take your boots and jacket off. Stay a while. Is this <laughs> Uh, of course I'm going to help you. Puppy? Of course. Yeah, that's something for mommy's basement. Right. They're playing tic-tac-toe. So on my quest to use we containers in every way, shape, and form, I found these on Amazon. They're wooden tops. We're so, try again. And they have a silicone yeah. ring oh, on them. Me to bring up the, um... And they fit in those oh, we yeah, containers. Yeah. You know yeah, the we okay. yogurt? If you're okay. not eating it, like, you're not cool. Oh, okay. Anyway, give me later. I'm going to go okay. make meatloaf now. Okay. And then we'll go in the basement and explore first. some things from my childhood. <laughs> Lots of new kids on the block. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make the meatloaf. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to do it. I'm just gonna make it a montage. But um, it's in one of my Hanukkah or Christmas videos. So if you wanna know how to make the meatloaf, check back in my videos and you'll see me make it. I am here at my mom's that day, so. Cause I can't make it at home, it's full of onions. But it's delicious. Yeah, so. You want these? Okay, these are good too. Did you guys ever buy these? The yogis? They're just little yogurt drops for the kids to knock on. I swear I eat bags of them. You like those? Where are you going? In there. Okay, go ahead, go in there. Don't drop them though, okay? Okay, I put the mixes together. Um, it's a lot. I will put the recipe down here. As I said, I don't know where this recipe has come from. People told me it was from different places. Um, basically, you can't go wrong making a meatloaf, okay? It's like one egg, a dash of milk, some Worcestershire sauce, some ketchup, one of the onion soup packets from Lipton, a big thing of garlic, you know, like, and you can use a triple meat pack. I'm not really into eating veal. I know that, like, I'm a carnivore, so right there, I'm not helping any animal, but I feel like it's especially mean to eat veal because they're kept in cages and they can't move their entire lives. I just think that's awful. Like other animals, at least they're allowed to like graze. So anyway, all that stuff goes into here and I'm gonna mush that in a second and get my hands all dirty because you know, as Ina says, these are your best kitchen tool, clean hands. Then we have the potatoes. I cut up like a crap ton of potatoes, put a big dash of Parmesan on it, a big dollop of garlic, and some parsley. And that's gonna go around the meatloaf and then we throw it in the oven for like an hour and a half and it is delicious. So anyway, I'm gonna get my hands all dirty in here even though I just touched my hair. That's great. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to get the meatloaf going. So let's, let's do that.
Okay, the dirty work is done. It really is dirty work. Um, a little bit of shortcuts. Usually I put some sweet potatoes in for color and they're very, very good when they're roasted with the garlic. I didn't have any. Um, my meat was a little too wet at first. So I just added more meat and some more breadcrumbs. Voila, should be okay. It's a meatloaf. Like unless like you put something really gross in it, it's always gonna taste the same. <laughs> it's a kitchen sink meal. Um, but I'm gonna put it in the oven now. I think it's 350 or 375 for about an hour and a half. That should be good, I'm putting it in now and it will be ready around 6.30. Just in time to eat a little bit before Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Now let's go see what everyone's doing in the basement. Mind you, I love this basement. I lived in the basement for like a really long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going into the basement and I see this. Top girl athlete in sixth grade. My dad was so happy that day. My sister and I swept everyone in field day. <laughs> he was so happy. Oh, so this is the basement. What are you doing? Oh, look at this. Wait till you see how she does this. Go ahead, let's turn this off and show mommy what you were doing. She's a champion. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Ooh, what a twirl at the end. Look at that. You can play that. Yay! Yeah, I can see it. It's everywhere. Okay. It's literally everywhere. How do you make these crumbles like this? Yeah. Like, how does that happen? You're crazy. You're crazy. It's all over you. You're lucky you're cute. What? Oh, because you can't get it out? Is that why that happens? Oh, all right. I'll help you get it out, okay? So this is my Barbie house from like 1980. It opens like that. This is my Barbie house from when I was little. Yes, I've seen it before. Why you bought the kids me? It's mine. Oh my God, your hands are covered in Play-Doh. <sighs> Sammy. All right, let's go. What are you guys doing? Are you playing with your colors? These trays that I'm never getting back from Mima. You okay? Are you getting hungry? Should we make some mac and cheese? Let's see, make some mac and. All right, you gonna come with me? You always want it. Hello, hello. The whole house smells like garlic. I think I put way too much garlic in it. I hope this thing is edible. I just kind of dumped it in. It's not good. Anyway, I was in the basement. Whew, it stinks in here. My husband would actually be in pain. Um, I found my Prince and the New Power Generation CD, which I have all my CDs, so how that got separated, I have no idea. And then I found this picture of me from the 90s. Apparently, I thought that I was a hot pirate. So, there you go. And that's enough for today. Okay, let's see how this meatloaf's doing. Okay, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes in the oven. And at around an hour and 15 minutes, you know, you want to check on it. So I know this is in my other video. I'm not going to show you guys again, but you know, you check on it, see how it's doing, take the foil off, let it crisp up. The whole place smells like garlic. <coughs> it's like actually bothering me. Yeah, that's great. Can't say it doesn't look good though. Look at that. Yeah, I definitely put way too much garlic in. I think I put it in the potatoes though, so that's could be scraped away. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, let's put it in the oven, brown it up, and then we'll see if we can uh, take this for dinner. If anything, there aren't gonna be any vampires around tonight, that's for sure. Spray. The potatoes just decided they don't wanna come through, so we're waiting for them. We're gonna have our meatloaf. The girls have their mac and cheese. Mom got final jeopardy. We're listening to the creative knitters now. See all the knitters that are on the creative knitters group right now for knit collage. I am just learning about what it's all about and I will let you guys know, but it sounds really, really great.
I just finished the Creative Knitters and it was nice. It just basically told you like everything that they're gonna give you and it's, it's just really nice. So if you guys have any questions, go on knitcollage.com. Um, there's a fee to join for the year. You get like $10 a month to spend that roll over every month. So basically you're getting another $120 back to spend. Um, I think I've mentioned that, but I just think it's such a good deal. And then like all the retreats, whatever they do, you get for free. And these are things that add up during the year, so you would end up spending that money anyway. Anyway, I was trying to work on something while um, we were all talking, and so, you guys remember my Portage sweater? I'll show you when I get home. It's at home, we're still at my mom's. Um, last night, I picked out the hem, which I had done incorrectly, and then broken the yarn. I don't know if you guys remember from my podcast, I was like so mad about it. So I'm trying to figure out how to, how to do the um, tubular bind off. So I'm making myself a swatch with the leftovers from my shawl, and I'm going to do the rib for like a couple inches, and then I'm gonna practice the tubular bind off. The, it's like a sewn bind off. So, but the sewn bind off and the tubular bind off are different bind offs, but the tubular bind off is a type of sewn bind off. Okay? So, so here's what I've got so far. And yes, I'm doing it on straight needles, because I actually really like straight needles sometimes. They're great for swap. She's Patsa. <laughs> Please, you, you go right around my neck. All right, I think it's time to go home. Daddy misses us. No bed. Yes. No bed. Somebody went pee-pee in the potty, though. Yay! <laughs> Yay, and the end of diapers in sight for me. Please pray for me. Yes, right. Mommy! Let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go pack up and go home because Daddy's probably really lonely, okay? All right, I'll show you. We have to cancel it. I do another day. <laughs> oh, it no, we don't have to because. Woo! Uh, woo! Woo! Yes, woo! So we won't have to cancel it because we'll be inside. It's but not. Then how do you get here? Oh, she's talking about oh, you going you back and forth. It snows. Is it supposed no, to snow? It's, On it rains. Sundays. Wait, it's supposed to snow. Wait, it's supposed to snow. I, I, on Sunday. Oh, maybe Mima can <laughs> oh my God. come sleep over. <laughs> no, keep. Oh Clipping! You can clip with them! No, no clipping! Oh Mommy, do you want to clip with us? Oh <laughs> you can clip! No! No clipping? How can we clip with Sammy? Are you going to clip? What did you say? What is the moon doing? It looks like it's following us. Kind of looks like it's following us. Can we see the moon? Like if I walk over here, is that it? it's still above me. Whoa! <laughs> she just walked into the snow. <laughs> oh, shut Go inside, child. <laughs> On another note, we pulled up. Sammy was sleeping, and we didn't start the fire. came on the radio, so yes, I did sit there for the good, like, eight minutes it takes to sing that song. <laughs> because I know all the words. Makes me feel like I have a superpower. So, okay, here we go, back in the house. So while I was on the creative knitter thing, the girls got Jello. My mom put them in those little wee cups, which is such a good idea for Jello. But my favorite's raspberry. I'm gonna go get the advents now, let's do that. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Sweet skin of mine. No, this one, Chelsea Yarns. We are on day 10. Today is our very last yarn from them. Oh, look at that. Mom! I'll let you open the other one, okay? Okay. Put a shirt on, please. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, this one is Chelsea Yarns. That's pretty. These are really, really good. That 
Portland's Chelsea Yarns. And after that, I did make four more bags because she puts goodies in it. So I put the goodies in it, and those are the four more bags until Valentine's Day. Um, do you have your shirt on yet? No. no. Come on! Okay, so this one is Sweet Skein of mine. This one is called Cinnamon Hearts. Which, if anyone knows me, cinnamon hearts are my favorite. I love them. It's nothing like eating red dye number 40. <laughs> Granny, are you coming to do this or am I doing it? I'm coming. Granny is trying to put on her pajamas. Okay. Stay tuned. It didn't run over you. You pulled it onto you. You look so fancy. Your hair's so fluffy. She had her hair in a braid all day. Are you okay? Here you go. Me. Nope. Ooh. Is that today's? Is that today's? That one came out? What was it called? What does it say on front? Ooh. And this is like a red. Wait, I'm so confused. What are you doing? This, wait, what is this one? This one was not today? Wait. You just handed it to me. What's this one? Oh, it was 10 and you gave the 10 to me. I did give the 10 to you. Did you open a bunch? No, you I, opened one, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, why did you so this one was 10 cinnamon hearts? I forgot today was 10. That's right. That one's pretty. And then, I don't know, why did you hand me this one? You opened it. Yeah. So confused. But that's a Brio duo. Not really. No. No, it is a Brio duo. No, Brio duo is like two colors that are like complementary, but like, like maybe, but like lighter, like different. Like you'd be able to see them separately, but they look nice together. Really? They're like sisters. Like this. Maybe. These two with mixing like that. <laughs> These all three. No, that's not a Brio Duo or a Brio Trio. A Brio Trio? What's a Brio Like trio? Brio Duo. All right, guys, that's enough for today, I think. Mm. We're tired. So we're going to go to sleep and we will come at you tomorrow. Mm -mm. <laughs> what a cackle. And we'll talk about our seeds. We want to order seeds for our garden soon, right? You're so five years old right now. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. We will see you tomorrow.